Hi, welcome back to Dallas Sports. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. Today, we're going to be focusing on how to pass a rugby ball. We've had quite a few specific questions on how to improve passing a rugby ball, especially halfbacks. We're going to be sharing a few tips. If it's useful, please like, subscribe and share it. This is the first video of a few that we'll be obviously creating. And by the end of it, you should have improved. Any questions, just leave it in the comments below. Hi. Okay, to start with, I'm just going to utilize a light weight, as you can hear. Okay, it's just for the wrist, the forearms. This is a really good tool to warm up. Okay, a lot of guys don't do this. They just go straight into passing. It's all about the process. Okay, so movements like this really, really loosens up. Okay couple of them 30 seconds on 30 seconds off all right if you don't have that just movements like this would really really help as well i've learned these type of movements doing a bit of wing chun and what i find it really helps with the flexibility okay in the movements like that. you'll feel if you do that a couple of times if you're not used to it it really gets into these muscles next one i've got a rope can find a piece of rope somewhere. I'm just gonna warm up my movements with my hands as well. Very straight body. So I'm just gonna walk it forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, nice and easy. It doesn't have to be fast, okay? It's not about how fast you can do it. Nice and easy. Okay, and then that's you can do that maybe two or three times. Okay, okay then you can move on. Okay, I know everyone's got their own warm-up, but I'm just giving, a, obviously sharing a few tips what works for me. Okay, nice and easy, open up the hand, drop the shoulder, down, open up the hand, slide it, drop the shoulder, a couple of times like that. Really get your chest down, because when we're passing, your chest has to be over the ball, so get used to that, get used to that. Okay. Okay, the next one, sumo squats, very important because when we, when you pass, it's important to be able to be comfortable in this low position. A couple of walks like that, forwards, backwards with your, your elbows on the inside of your knees and push your hips down to the floor, backwards, nice and easy. Okay, moving left and right. Forward, standing straight up, standing straight up. A couple of them, kick it out. Okay, so it's important to loosen yourself up because you don't have to spend a lot of time passing a thousand rugby balls. If you like to do that, then so be it. For that's for repetition, but like what I'm trying to share is you could do this in probably 20 minutes. Do this first properly and enjoy it. The next one. Okay, so you go down again into a squat, but then take one foot out. Okay, straighten your leg, go as far as you can, and then just drop down one, drop down two. You notice my toes are not pointing straight forward, it's slightly outwards so that it's comfortable. See that? Gotta loosen up, sink your hips, come up, sink your hips. So always here, bend the knees, back the elbows inside of the knees, give resistance. Really loosen yourself up. Okay, okay I'm gonna show you something that's probably a bit extreme. If you like to try it, let me know what you think. Okay, a lot of guys find their own way and their own ways of doing things. This is what I would like to do, okay, as well. My arms, I fold my palms facing up. So from here to there, okay. Bend the elbows and then elevate your upper body, straightening the arms. That's the first one. Then push up, just to loosen up the back. A lot of times the scrum offs you, you find yourself, you might have lower back problems because you don't warm up properly. Okay, now check this out. 
to that. Go that one. And then to the side if you want. To the side. And then back to the middle. Nice and easy. Why am I doing that? I want to apply so much pressure on my forearms. As a scrum off, when you get the ball, obviously the, th the threat, everyone's obviously going for the ball at ruck times. Over the years, from experience, I've learned how to look after myself. If you don't have a strong forearm for handoff, you know, to push yourself away from the threat to get the ball away, then you'll always struggle. Because we always think it's just, yeah, pass. Get to the ruck, pass. You know, you can always add a lot more to your game by, by strengthening yourself, finding your weaknesses. And I would say to any scrum off, make sure that you strengthen your forearms. So you rock solid. Not just for the looks, but you, you know you can look after yourself. Um, right, next one. As usual, like arm swings. Why am I doing that? It's something so simple. Of course, obviously the upper body, you know, you'll be isolating the arms from the upper body when you're passing as well. Right? So it's important to practice the movements. The movements. See that? Movements from there to there. From there, isolating the arms from the upper body and the lower body. And then bring in, rotating the whole of the upper body with the hips facing forwards. Okay. Some people might think, well, what's that all about? Why do I have to do that? At the end of the day, it's about the feeling. If you if you warm up, you know, master warming up properly, whether it's five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, whatever, whatever works for you, make sure that you feel good. How many times have you warmed up in a match, before a match, and you feel like you just you don't feel right? To avoid that, practice the behavior. This is my behavior, what I'm practicing right now, so that I can be switched on. When I need my muscles to work in a certain way, to move quickly, very snappy, I have to go through the process. A lot of people don't have ropes, but if you can find one, this one's got a weight at the end, which is so awesome. I'll show you why. Also part of the process, okay? Like I said, this is my own. You can try it out and, and tell me what you think. Okay, I'm gonna have it, the weighted part in front of my hip, not next to, not next to my hip in front. As you can see, my elbow is slightly bent. And it's facing towards the red coat, as you can see. And all I'm gonna do is hunting the rope away from it. Lean forward, bend the knees in the athletic stance. So I'm slightly put my body weight on the balls of my feet, and I'm just gonna punch it out. See that? And then instead of going there, pull it back. Okay, that's why I'm using the rope. Okay, so all about it's all about cutting out the unnecessary time you spend by just passing and passing and passing. Same on the other side from here to there. Okay, and then I pull it back. I do that two or three times. So now when my mind is right, I move on to the next point. Okay, so the rope, obviously, punching the rope out, it's not, it's not always easy because you're trying to punch it out in a straight way by isolating the tick movement, the tick tock. So just from here to there. Okay, if I do this now with the rugby ball, I'm just gonna go this way, okay? From here to there. See that? From here to there. So now my, my wrists, because I've been practicing that movement, that movement, okay, it's a natural thing then. Bang! Bang! It's snappy. Okay? Another thing, breathing. When you're passing, it's so important as well. If you talk to boxers, when someone is boxing, it's always <laughs> exhale, exhale. Okay, so it's the same with the passing <laughs> because you become the pass. Okay, the next one, tuck your elbows in. Okay, tuck your elbows in and just practice flicking the ball 
using only your your wrists and your fingertips so what you don't want is body movement does that make sense so flick flick the ball away and i'm using a round ball why because it's easier okay to come back from here to there do that a couple of times let's do a progression on that so you go from from here to there forwards from here to there okay rugby ball okay a lot of the times guys ask me um, especially younger younger players as well you know how can i spin the ball um, i would say don't just focus on spinning the ball focus on different ways of passing the ball which is so important because every pass is new okay you just focus on spinning the ball if you're in a different situation and you can't spin it at that time is it necessary for me to spin the ball if the person is one meter away from me okay so so what i didn't want to do was just put the ball down and just pass a few passes and say okay that's how you do it this video was more to do with you know i'm talking a lot but hopefully what i'm saying makes sense okay um the other one was also if you hold the ball okay at three and nine o'clock fingertips turn 12 o'clock into six o'clock especially for parents out there that would like to help their younger you know their children uh you know as, as young as you six seven eight nine ten and up Th this is basics and this can be for anyone turn 12 o'clock into six o'clock now notice this from here to there i'm not taking the ball to my hip i'm taking it to my rib turning 12 o'clock into six o'clock why my rib what do, what do you see here from here to there see that from here to there that's that tick tock but i'm not pulling it back and then passing it it's just there from here to there Boom. The thing is, you know, passing, it, will, it won't change, you know, passing a ball won't change. But what I'm trying to say is practice your behavior, okay? Practice your behavior and then you can spend less time passing a thousand rugby balls. And you're kind of improving, but what you've done is really just work on repetition. Okay, next one would be what you could do as well. One foot forward, outside foot, or on the rib. A lot of times you hear coaches say on the hip. I can understand why. Because you want to isolate that movement. But I would say get it on the rib. Because if you catch it early, see that? Catch it early, not in front of you. So if I'm running that way, and I'm receiving the ball from this angle, sometimes you catch the ball here in front of your body. And what will happen then is you will have to take extra steps to get that ball away and what you don't realize is you the opposition is closing in and closing out your space okay so you want to catch it early on the inside of your body so when it's early like i said nice big target from 12 to 6 look and then pass okay Am I saying passing the ball off your hip is wrong? No. All I'm saying is, you want to have a nice, really sharp, crisp pass to develop that. It takes time. Just elevate the ball slightly higher. It's like the trigger is already pulled. If it's on the hip, look at, look at my arm. That's why people have the tendency to want to pull it back because it doesn't feel good. I'm, I'm not here saying, Oh, don't get the ball in your hip. Don't pass like that. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. What I'm saying is, get it on the rib if you want. Okay. Then it's more snappy. Bang. And you've got you've got good balance as well because you could you could tense your core. Okay. Tense it. Like you know, even if you have a fat back or a six back, tense it and punch out that ball. Okay. Okay. Next tip: uh, utilize tires shields i don't know anything what you can find you practice so this is all part of passing right just practice the movement not the pass don't worry about the pass 
What we struggle with is the is here, the movement. Okay, so shift the focus on, as you can see, I'm using a rope. And this is for a reason. If you can find a rope, utilize it. Because it will help you, okay, with your line. Does that make sense? Okay, when you're passing in your balance. So if you are off balance, what will happen? You'll fall. And then that's where you can see that line. You know, just an indication to help you out, right? So this is what I would do a couple of times. You could utilize a, a rugby ball. You could, you could utilize, obviously, a football, squash ball, a rugby ball. The reason why I like that, it's, it's, it, it helps. And I'll tell you in a second why. So sink feet together, bend the knees, okay? Get the ball and step out. Boom. Okay, sink. Boom. Okay, that's like in a rock situation, getting the ball away. Good, good pressure on the ball with your grip. But notice what happens. I've heard this so many times. Oh, you need to work on your passing. It's gotta be quicker. You're picking the ball up. And it made me think, what? How am I picking the ball up? You know, I want to improve, but how? And this is what happens. You're picking the ball up here. Look at that. See that? From here to there. Even if it's just that, that bit, okay? You're picking the ball up. To avoid that, if it's a nice clear, you know, where the ruck is and they've presented the ball really well, there's no need for that. So what you want to do is scoop that ball out. See that? See the evidence of it? Scoop it up. Okay? So practice those movements. If you're not used to it, you'll feel it in your hamstrings, your groins. So that's an indication you need to really strengthen. Do Pilates. Okay, do core exercises. Squat, get used to really squatting. Like on the on our Dallas Sports channel, my brother Sergio has got some awesome, awesome, you know, hit workouts. Get your body strong and fit to be able to cope with the pressure. Okay, next one. Once you've identified you're picking the ball up, all right, to improve that as well, practice moving the ball slightly faster every time. But don't spend 10, 12, 13. Do this. Two or three, walk away. Come back. Change the ball if you have to. Why? Because give yourself a forced break. 10, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, and reflect. What do you need to repair? Okay, then repeat it again. Force breaks is important, right? Four reps maybe, but force breaks. I just had a force break. I'm reflecting, how can I, how can I improve getting the ball away? Feet together, okay? Snappy. Okay, I've set some targets. Yellow, white, and red. Okay, this is where more or less the player running that way will be receiving the ball. Okay, or on the white or on the red. Okay, so when you're passing the ball, right, as you can see, I've only got three cones out, which means I'm only gonna pass three times. And then I'm gonna have a force break for 30 seconds if I have, okay? So the idea is ball here. As you can see, I've got my line, I've got the ball. A lot of players, a lot of players, do this. The inside foot, okay, they go and they, they they arrive at the ball and the inside foot is more or less this far away from the ball. Okay, or even there. Right? And I'll tell you what's wrong with that. Someone that's doing this relies heavily on their power when they're passing. Okay? And it's not always accurate. It's like a bowler in cricket. If you try to bowl too hard, sometimes the ball goes wide. But if you keep working on the technique, you become faster because it's smooth. You become smooth and still accurate and quick. Get the ball, the inside foot, really close to the ball. If it's here, let's say the white cone, okay? That guy is about seven, 10 meters away. If it's like this, the pass will dip. Even if it's a quick, snappy pass, the pass will dip. 
but to make the pass longer all you have to practice is get your inside foot closer to the ball does that make sense okay so from here to there now i've got a longer pass and when you finish passing this is the movement what you'll be seeing a lot of times if someone takes a photo of you passing okay then when you finish sometimes you will finish like that or even like this i do it this way okay so if i go there to there or like this but remember when you're passing okay the fingers always got to chase that ball so first step inside foot close to the ball the second point chest over the ball strong someone comes you can deal with that you don't need to do it but obviously you want to just get the ball away and the third one is really follow through chasing the ball with your hands first step boom foot there second one chest over the ball okay and then third point make sure your arms punch the ball out and your fingers towards the target so from here to there Okay, as you can see, it's nice and quick. So I'm gonna go for yellow. Put there, yellow. Okay, so uh, I passed my son Caleb, he's eight years old, to stand on the cones and, and receive the ball. Now I'm gonna have to adjust how much power I use for him to catch that ball. Okay, if I use too much power, obviously, it might be too difficult for him to catch the ball. This is also a good way of practicing feeling. Right, I'm arriving at the rock. You play in England where it rains every, every day. The problem I used to have, to take the ball, drop the ball, and slippery and it's all over the place because you're too tense. Okay, you need to loosen up. Okay, if you want to relax. Someone once told me this. See the veins popping down if your arms are, let the blood flow to your hands. That's how you run. Caleb, you ready? So Caleb's on the yellow cone. I'm just gonna try and adjust my pass. My inside foot's over the ball. I try to practice doing this so that I can get used to that movement. Okay, I don't arrive here already with my foot wide. All right, I'm facing my hips. It's facing the target. Okay, just like so. From here again. Okay, force break. Do something different, do a down up. Okay, and I go again. Okay, or you can go, all right, practicing obstacles. At a ruck, someone's foot sticking out, the ball's not, it's always messy. You're arriving there, okay, the ball's, ball's in the ruck. Important to go over, okay, and then practice that as well. Same again, this is a ruck. Another one is inside foot. Ball there, ball to the hip or to the rope, and then pass it. Okay. I'll show you again. Do that. Do something different. Big target, inside foot on the ball. Back to the rope. Wide to the rope or to the hip. If the guard, bodyguard, put pressure on me, okay, I'm moving away from that area which means I'm inviting them off the line. That's exactly what you want because they're creating space for your runners to come on and for you to be in that ready position to pass. A lot of times people pick the ball up here and do that and now you've got to pull it back. It's too late. Okay, so from here to there. Okay. Okay, so if you enjoy that, please let me know um, what I'll do. I'm going to do quite a few on different passes of line outs, of scrums. Um, uh, even nowadays, you don't see it a lot anymore. The dive pass, which I feel is still something you could utilize. Um, watch out for more. Uh, and I know I've shared, I've talked quite a lot, but it's more about sharing the information first instead of just doing it okay if i had to use my strength while i'm passing this is what it would look like i'm going for the white cone okay a lot of power right boom as you can see snappy 
see it went over the white coat? Okay, what's up? Come on. <laughs> 